Hey, what's up everyone? This video, we're gonna go through a practical example of how you can use overloading. Now, just again, to be clear, overloading and overriding are not the same thing. We overrode the equals method, but we're going to overload a different method that we created ourselves. So what are we going to do exactly? Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So let's take a look at our class. This is the user class. You can take a look at the code right here. And the real main things you need to see is that it has two properties, first name and last name, and then a, a property that will combine them. And we did an override here on this equals method. But now what I want to do is I want to look at this find method down here. You can take a look at the code in it right here. I want to make an overload where in this situation we're passing a string full name. I want to be able to pass in a user object and see if it is in this list. So how is this going to look? Well, we're going to start with pretty much the same signature. So I'm just going to copy this, paste that, and put the curly braces. Now, obviously, we have to change something in the signature or it's not going to let us. Now, just as a side note, if you change the return type, this does not change enough for it to be considered an overload. So when it comes to overloading, the return type is not part of that method signature. But either way, we're still going to return an int. And instead of taking a string, we're going to take a user like that. We're going to copy this loop as well. And because we created this method earlier that allows us to check if two objects are equal to one another based on some thing we decide, in this case, if the full name is equal, we can easily use that in our find method. So instead of comparing full name to full name, all we got to do is say users of index i dot equals and then pass it the user that we got as as an argument passed into this parameter variable here all right so that is the overloaded version of our method let's give it a try over in program.cs we have these two users here and let's put them in a list so we'll make a list of users and we will pass both of these guys in here so we'll say me and you and i'm actually going to bring that back up to the top like so get rid of this line here and now what I want to do is I want to say user the class dot find. And now when you hover over this, you're going to see one plus overload. So click it and put the parentheses and you can scroll through these signatures using the up and down arrow keys. So we're going to do this one and we're going to pass in our users list and then the user we're looking for. So let's create a new user because if you remember, our comparison is based off of values, not memory location. So we should be able to create a new user with the same values and compare. First, let's change this one up. So let's say we have a John Smith and we'll create a new user. First name is John. Make sure the capitalization is the same there. And last name is Smith. So this is the user we're gonna search for. Pass in search. And this is going to return again. If you hover over find, you can see it returns an integer. So it is console uh, dot right line and see what the number returned is. All right, so that was a lot. Let's run it and make sure we, it actually works. Done it run. And as expected, we get the value one. And that's that. So you can see it works because the second user in this list is you and search has the same name as you. So getting index one makes sense if we went in here and changed it up it's not going to return the same value it's going to give us a negative one and that's exactly what we got so thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the next video